Okay, since I was down here, I already changed the sensor on it. Cam sensor about two years ago and crank software sensor last week. It was a night time, so I didn't take a picture of it. But as you can see, that's where the crank stuff sensor is. So if you can just imagine the oil plug, drain plug. Let's see right there. If you can see it on my finger, it just goes straight up from the drain plug. These you know, expansion ports on the side. And if you go in there, that's the new one I put on there. Yeah. Works pretty good. I got it from Rock Auto Parts for like about, I think it was like a 12 bucks compared to, you know, 36 to 75 bucks as AutoZone or Riley's, like super expensive. I'm not sure what the price difference is. Changed it, the cone went away, and the system's working fine. So that's your crank sensor sensor. It's way back here, so you know, right by the oil pan, just goes straight up by the engine mount in the transmission in the back right there, almost like, almost against the transmission if you would. So basically just unplug that wire right there, you know, pretty easy job. Take one bolt right there, I believe it was 12 millimeter when I did it, so. And in case you got a cam sensor tag thrown on it, since I'm already here, I might as well show you the cam sensor. Now cam sensor is all the way in the front, so hopefully you guys can see. This is a cam sensor I placed it a while back, it's way up there, so right, it's working off the heads on the crankshaft on the top, so this thing is... There's a pulley right there. If you follow the pulley, you just go kind of, you know, like say, steering, you know, steering, uh, wreck and pinion. If you go just above the wreck and pinion on the driver's side, uh, sorry, passenger side, backwards, upside down here. So it's right there. Right? So you guys can see it, you know, it's sort of an exhaust manifold in the front on the passenger side. And it's the same, same trick, you know, this one it was, I believe it was a 12 millimeter. And it was a lot easier to get out uh, compared to the other one. So hopefully that helps, guys. Just pull the two tags, unbolt one, throw in a bolt, and that will take care of the threads. After years of use, they do go bad. So, you know, it's 2003 truck, so you kind of figure. After a lot of use, I got about 130 on it, a uh, thousand. So, as I said, after a while, things start breaking down. So hopefully that fixed. So, so far, since I bought it, like, no issues except lately, you know, had a bad re battery change, then I had the cam sensor change, then I have the crankshaft, and then the evap code, and that was just a crack hose, I think. I fixed it, but I'll leave you a message if that works. Other than that, it's rolling good.